Greetings everyone and a warm welcome. In this video presentation, I will cover multiple choice questions MCQs from the General Science Unit focusing on vaccines and immunization. I encourage you to explore additional sources such as Google searches or other YouTube channels for further conceptual clarity. For MCQs on other topics, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let us try to solve some important MCQs one by one from the topics. Question 1. Which of the following is a common method of vaccine administration? A. Oral drops. B. Intravenous injection. C. Nasal spray. D. All of the above. The correct answer to question 1 is option D. All of the above. Explanation. Vaccines can be administered through various routes including oral drops, intravenous injection, and nasal spray, depending on the type of vaccine and the target disease. Question 2. Which organization in India is responsible for the implementation of the Universal Immunization Program, UIP? A. Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. B. Indian Council of Medical Research, ICMR. C. World Health Organization, WHO. D. National Institute of Immunology, NII. The correct answer to question 2 is option A. Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. Explanation The Ministry of Health and Family Welfare in India is responsible for implementing the Universal Immunization Program, UIP, to provide vaccines against preventable diseases. Question 3 Which vaccine is commonly administered to prevent tuberculosis? TB in India? A. BCG vaccine. B. MMR vaccine. C. DPT vaccine. D. IPV vaccine. The correct answer to question 3 is option A. BCG vaccine. Explanation The basal comedgurin, BCG, vaccine is commonly administered to prevent tuberculosis, TB in India, especially to infants shortly after birth. Question 4. Which vaccine is given to prevent polio in India? A. MMR vaccine. B. DTAP vaccine. C. OPV vaccine. D. HPV vaccine. The correct answer to question 4 is option C. OPV vaccine. Explanation. The oral polio vaccine, OPV, is given to prevent polio in India as part of the polio eradication program. Question 5. What does the term herd immunity refer to? A. Immunity acquired from consuming dairy products. B. Immunity among a group of individuals, reducing the risk of disease transmission. C. Immunity acquired from contact with animals. D. Immunity obtained through genetic inheritance. The correct answer to question 5 is option B. Immunity among a group of individuals, reducing the risk of disease transmission. Explanation Herd immunity occurs when a significant portion of the population becomes immune to a disease, either through vaccination or previous infection, reducing the spread of the disease and protecting those who are not immune. Question 6. What type of immunity is acquired through vaccination? A. Innate immunity B. Passive immunity C. Active immunity D. Acquired immunity. The correct answer to question 6 is option C. Active immunity. Explanation Vaccination triggers the body to produce its own immune response, leading to the development of active immunity against specific pathogens. Question 7 Which vaccine is commonly administered to prevent measles, mumps, and rubella? A. BCG vaccine. B. IPV vaccine. C. MMR vaccine. D. Hepatitis B vaccine. The correct answer to question 7 is option C. MMR vaccine. Explanation The measles mumps rubella, MMR, vaccine is commonly administered to provide immunity against measles, mumps, and rubella viruses. Question 8 What is the full form of DPT vaccine? A. Diphtheria, pertussis, and tetanus vaccine. 
B. Diphtheria, polio, and tuberculosis vaccine. C. Diphtheria, polio, and tetanus vaccine. D. Diphtheria, pertussis, and typhoid vaccine. The correct answer to question 8 is option A. Diphtheria, pertussis, and tetanus vaccine. Explanation The DPT vaccine provides immunity against diphtheria, pertussis, whooping cough, and tetanus. Question 9. What is the primary goal of immunization programs? A. To increase the spread of infectious diseases. B. To achieve herd immunity. C. To reduce vaccine-preventable diseases. D. To promote natural immunity. The correct answer to question 9 is option C. To reduce vaccine-preventable diseases. Explanation The primary goal of immunization programs is to reduce the incidence and prevalence of vaccine preventable diseases by providing immunity to individuals and populations through vaccination. Question 10 What is the recommended age for administering the first dose of the measles vaccine? A. At birth. B. At 6 weeks. C. At 9 months. D. At 18 months. The correct answer to question 10 is option C. At 9 months. Explanation The first dose of the measles vaccine is typically administered at 9 months of age as part of routine childhood immunization schedules. Question 11. Which organization provides technical support and guidance for immunization programs in India? A. World Health Organization, WHO. B. United Nations Children's Fund, UNICEF. C. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC. D. Indian Council of Medical Research, ICMR. The correct answer to question 11 is option A. World Health Organization, WHO. Explanation The World Health Organization, WHO, provides technical support, guidelines, and assistance to countries, including India for the implementation of immunization programs. Question 12. Which of the following vaccines is typically administered to newborns to protect against bacterial meningitis, pneumonia, and other infections? A. MMR vaccine. B. DTaP vaccine. C. Hip vaccine. D. Hepatitis B vaccine. The correct answer to question 12 is option C. Hip vaccine. Explanation The Hib vaccine protects against Haemophilus influenzae type B, a bacterium that can cause serious infections in young children, including meningitis and pneuma. Question 13 Which vaccine is commonly administered to prevent pneumonia and meningitis caused by Streptococcus pneumoniae bacteria? A. Pneumococcal conjugate vaccine, PCV. B. Rotavirus vaccine. C. Typhoid vaccine. D. Influenza vaccine. The correct answer to question 13 is option A. Pneumococcal conjugate vaccine, PCV. Explanation The pneumococcal conjugate vaccine, PCV, is administered to prevent pneumonia, meningitis, and other diseases caused by Streptococcus pneumonia bacteria. Question 14 What is the term used to describe the temporary side effects of vaccination? such as mild fever or soreness at the injection site. A. Vaccine hesitancy. B. Adverse events. C. Vaccine-preventable diseases. D. Vaccine efficacy. The correct answer to question 14 is option B. Adverse events. Explanation Adverse events refer to the temporary side effects that may occur following vaccination, such as mild fever, soreness, or redness at the injection site. Question 15. What is the primary objective of India's mission in the Dhanush program? A. To promote maternal and child health. B. To eradicate polio. C. To eliminate tuberculosis. D. To achieve universal immunization coverage. The correct answer to question 15 is option D. To achieve universal immunization coverage. Explanation 
Mission Indradnush is a program launched in India with the objective of achieving universal immunization coverage by reaching unvaccinated or partially vaccinated children and pregnant women in remote and underserved areas. Question 16 What is the term used to describe the process of intentionally exposing individuals to a weakened or killed pathogen to stimulate the immune system and provide immunity? A immunization B vaccination C inoculation D herd immunity The correct answer to question 16 is option B vaccination Explanation vaccination refers to the process of administering vaccines to individuals to stimulate their immune system and provide immunity against specific diseases Question 17 which vaccine preventable disease was the first to be globally eradicated through vaccination efforts A smallpox B polio C tetanus D measles The correct answer to question 17 is option A smallpox Explanation smallpox is the first and only disease to be globally eradicated through vaccination efforts with the last natural case reported in 1977 Question 18 which vaccine is given to prevent chickenpox varicella in children A DPT vaccine B varicella vaccine C HPV vaccine D typhoid vaccine The correct answer to question 18 is option B varicella vaccine Explanation the varicella vaccine is administered to provide immunity against the varicella zoster virus which causes chickenpox Thank you everyone Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel Education and Teacher Education at Shoki Bilal